on high alert as President Trump readies to leave the White House and the nation inaugurates a new leader. Military trucks rolling through the nation's capital, now a fortress. Checkpoints and barriers in place around the country, state capitals boarded up. The Michigan legislature canceling sessions over what they call credible threats. Tonight, the new report that Capitol Police were warned about a potential threat to members of Congress days before the attack. The FBI now making new arrests and some rioters asking for a pardon, saying they were just following what the president called for. President Trump remaining mostly out of sight during his last weekend in office. Moving vans spotted outside the West Wing. What we're learning about how the president plans to leave office heading straight to Mar-a-Lago. Vanishing vaccine, the governors of several states now accusing the Trump administration of misleading them about available doses. Less than 4% of Americans receiving their first shots and the need for the vaccine more urgent than ever. That highly contagious UK variant spreading to at least 19 states as the country nears 400,000 lives lost. Deadly encounter, the family of a Texas man speaking out after watching their loved one shot and killed by police. They had called for help because he was in need of mental health assistance. So why did he end up dead? Danger on the highway, blizzard conditions causing this box truck to lose control. The close call, where that system is now heading. And Field of Dreams, the former college pitcher, the book that reignited the fire and the social media pitch that just changed his life. ABC News World Headquarters in New York. This is World News Tonight. And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. I'm Tom Yamas. We begin tonight with the nation on high alert. Four days to the inauguration of Joe Biden and the hope of a peaceful transfer of power.